Hey guys, it's Shane from Jake's Journeys. I'm back today at Dreamworld Theme Park in the Gold Coast. Time for another quick construction update for Jungle Rush and Rivertown. There's been a lot more progress since my last visit, so we thought we'd check it out today, provide you an update. Uh, also, the Winterfest and Snowy Nights events are coming up here for the school holidays at Dreamworld. So we'll see if they've done any kind of activation or theming in preparation for the events around the park. Anyway, let's go and check it out now. So why don't you come along with me and join the journey. Hey guys, so right at the entry of Dreamworld, they've now put up the Winterfest sign. Now this event starts on the 29th of June, goes to the 14th of July for the school holidays here at Dreamworld. Uh, it's included with your entry ticket, so this is an awesome event. And they also have the Snowy Nights event, uh, which are two separate events. One on the 29th of June and the other is on the 6th of July. Now make sure you get to both of these events if you can. Uh, the Snowy Nights, as I mentioned, is a separate ticketed event and they are selling out fast. Uh, however, Winterfest is on during the day with your normal park entry, no extra cost, you got to check it out. Alright, so just made it into Dreamworld and uh, don't forget this is a great photo opportunity right at the front of the park, the Dreamworld Globe. Now they have started putting snowflakes up around the park for theming for Winterfest. That's the first thing I've noticed on my way in. Anyway, for now we're going to go down to near yeah, the motor coaster and check out the construction of Rivertown. So the first thing I've noticed down here near Motocoaster is they've taken the wall down now and you can get right through to the Motocoaster store. It looks like the ride's back open again and ride entry is through the store. Alright, so let's check it out. So we're going to walk right down here and uh, see what they've done as far as uh, entry now into the store or into the, into the ride through the store. Um, so it's gated as it was, fenced off. We'll have a look over there in a minute. So they've got a sign down here now that says Motocoaster, the ride entry via the store. All right, so I just walked through the store and came through the door that used to walk into the store when exiting the ride. So now I've come out this way and I'm at a point in the pathway here and there's a little sign now that says motor coaster entry that way. That then takes you back to the pathway that you'd normally take to enter the ride. So when people are exiting the road, they're going to come here, but we're going to walk through here. And this is the uh, normal way that you would head down to into the motor coaster ride. So this is where you used to come in through here. Uh, they've still got the test seat uh, there as well. So perhaps this will become the entry again because I feel this is kind of a temporary arrangement because uh, potentially you're entering to the ride and at the same time people will be exiting. So there could be a little bit of congestion right there at uh, the doorway of the store. So um, this will obviously still become the entrance again, potentially, I guess, and probably just get um, Redone. Well, we're looking into the area now, just uh, opposite Motor Coaster, so essentially the entranceway to Rivertown. Uh, you can see some slabs being laid now, so um, maybe for building infrastructure, definitely a lot more work is happening around here. 
And again, this is the Marisipi Motors part of this area as well. So I'm still thinking there's probably gonna be a different sort of a wall so you can enter Rivertown and then enter another way to Motor Coaster. Well, it's definitely exciting to see Motor Coaster back open again and uh, it's good to see what they've done as far as currently with the uh, entry and exit through to the Motor Coaster here while we're doing all the construction. Uh, definitely still think there's going to be, an, uh, I guess, two pathways, one to Motor Coaster and one into Rivertown. We'll have to wait and see. Again, we'll keep you updated as progress continues. And by the way guys, just at Food Central, they've now put artificial turf down in this area here. It used to all be concrete, so um, that's just recently been done and looks really awesome. So yeah, something new that they've done here since my last visit here at Dreamworld. I tell you what, it's also really, really spongy, spongy and cushiony, um, this Astro turf. So it's actually really nice to walk on. Right, let's go check out the construction angle from Kenny's Forest Fly. Well, I definitely can see a lot more track that's gone in since my last visit anyway. And uh, yeah, I'm loving these angles of the track that we can see. It's definitely going to be a very interesting ride. And uh, with lots of different pathways, forwards and backwards, it's just going to be an unbelievable ride. And here's another angle of the uh, theming that's going up with all those panels. So they look like, you know, weathered concrete that you'd find, I guess, if a structure was in the jungle for years and it's all weathered, that's what it sort of looks like. It looks amazing, actually. Now that's on the inside of the ride, and there's obviously going to be theming on the outside of the ride as well, so you won't see the light coming through, but um, yeah, it's going to look absolutely amazing. You can definitely tell you're going to get a bit of air time here throughout this ride. Absolutely looking forward to riding this. So as I mentioned, this uh, end will be Marisipi Motors, essentially, and of course the uh, entryway into Rivertown, uh, just there next to uh, Motor Coaster. And obviously the train should be coming back through here again at some point in time as well. So we should start to see that um, put back in place. By the way guys, the uh, play school wheel currently down on annual maintenance. Uh, this will be back open again for the 30th of June. And we've also got the uh, Serpent Slayer on maintenance here at the moment as well. This reopens on the 6th of July. All right, let's go and check out the Jungle Rush construction now from Tiger Island Perspective. Uh, so you can see a switch track in there. Now I think that's just for taking it into like a maintenance bay, I th think. Not 100% sure yet, because this obviously, we'll get a better view of this anyway, it goes this way, but that's like coming down, there's like a brake run on there as well. So um, that's obviously where you come down that way, to finish the ride, and then you'd go back up that way, I believe. Again, I'm not sure because then you could go. You could go. Well, you could go down. Yeah, again, hard to say. It could be a maintenance area or load unload station because it does go backwards as well. So it's kind of looking a bit confusing at this point in time. 
But anyway, all will be revealed really soon. Yeah, the platform and railing there next to the brake run, that was not installed when I was last here. So that's definitely new from my last visit. As literally every week, there's so many things that have been installed or progressed. Um, they're working pretty much about five and a half to six days a week on this currently. And luckily, the weather in the Gold Coast here has been absolutely beautiful, no rain. So obviously that helps them out a lot to get more work done when there's no rain. I know I say it every time, but just can't get over the size, the scale of that building. And once all the walls are up and external work's done, it's gonna look even bigger. Crazy. Again, I just love all the twists and turns of this track. It really does wind through the jungle. Pretty cool. Yeah, I think that's definitely gonna be maybe like a maintenance area. It's the end of the track there, so you'll come down the uh, brake run at the end of the ride, which would be there, and you'd turn to a left and head back into the building to the load unload station. Let's see if we can see any progress on the Billabong restaurant. While we still can't see into the restaurant, uh, obviously they're not working in there currently today, but we do know that uh, they are in there doing all the work and theming required to turn this into an amazing eatery. So uh, again, we might have to wait until it actually opens before we can actually check it out, but uh, it's exciting to see that they're gonna do a themed uh, food offer down here which will service obviously Rivertown and the people walking through to the Corroboree and potentially at this train station when the train gets reconnected uh, you better get off here hopefully again and visit the restaurant well definitely more track has extended out since my last visit this is pretty cool Again, this probably isn't a very like long coaster, but because of the different pathways, the ride elements, the airtime, Ford's reverse, this is one of a kind. And that's what makes this exciting. Coupled with all the theming that's gonna be happening through here. Again, very, very excited. To continue to check out the construction progress and then obviously to ride it once it opens late 2024. And by the way guys, uh, the vintage cars are still closed and the date has been extended again uh, for reopening and it now says the 29th of December. But as we know, Rivertown will be open by then and the new Marasipi Motors will be in, which are the new vintage cars. They're actually a, a whole new car, electric cars, rethemed. So my thoughts are that that will never ever reopen again unless they decide to do a one-off special thing for nostalgia reasons. But I would say that's gone and we'll have to wait until Marisipi Motors opens late 2024. Now just a reminder for Winterfest and snowy nights, there's gonna be ice skating and that'll be down this end of the park towards the Gold Coaster in the convention center. That's where the ice skating will be. And there'll also be tobogganing, which is actually right next to the entry to Steel Taipan near the front of the park. So again, a couple of awesome uh, attractions that you can do while you're here for Winterfest and for snowy nights. And they got all the snowflakes already put up on the fences down here at the back end near where the ice skating will be. Now in years gone by, they used to have uh, Winterfest food offerings set up in here. This is where the old Trolls land was. Not sure if they're going to again this year or not, but there, there is tables and chairs in here already. That might just be left over from the water park while they're doing work over there. I'm not too sure. Um, I would probably say, given that it's a week out, maybe they're not doing anything 
in here, but we'll have to wait and see. Never know. So it looks like the ice skating rings already down, all in and ready to go. Obviously they've just still got the barriers to put up and theming, but uh, yeah, it's all looking good given this event is one week out today. I'm filming this on a Saturday. This is gonna be exciting. So make sure you check out the ice skating while you're here for Winterfest and Snowy Nights. Well, just next to the entry of Seal Taipan last week, uh, we saw this building getting essentially renovated. So it's all being painted and looks really nice. So I would say this is probably gonna be used maybe for Winterfest or snowy nights. Definitely being utilized for something else. We'll have to wait and see what it is. Now I have tried peeking in the window, but these are actually blacked out windows. They're not actually tinted, they're blacked out completely. So. Can't see in, can't see what's going on. We will just have to wait. Don't forget during the uh, Snowy Nights event on the 29th of June and the 6th of July, all the rides will be open at night. And tell you what, Giant Drop is awesome at night, especially if you've got the view looking over the highway. Well, it looks like the toboggan is almost finished getting installed, uh, ready for the Snowy nights and winter fest. This is a pretty cool little awesome icy toboggan you can do when you're here at Dreamworld these school holidays. that's going to do it for my look today here at Dreamworld theme park Marasipi Motors Rivertown Jungle Rush construction update um, again one week goes by so much more work's gone in which is really great to see which means uh, they're powering through the work hopefully it will be on schedule to open on time late 2024 we're so excited for this whole entire project uh, can't wait to walk into Rivertown and experience Marasipi Motors and particularly the Jungle Rush uh, roller coaster it's going to be unbelievable can't wait for the theming magnificent can't wait anyway i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe to jag's journeys to keep up to date with all the theme park happenings around the gold coast construction updates also i've got a lot of american content as far as universal studios hollywood content uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with that still more uh, usa vlogs to drop over the next few weeks as well so stay tuned to jag's journeys it's free to subscribe and you'll never miss out on a video ring the notification bell then you get notified every time i drop one anyway guys thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next journey